hello everybody and welcome once again to Lego with the Fonzies as you can see we're starting the next part of the insect collection which is the blue morpho butterfly the information in the little booklet that they send because they send the information for the little in each insect in an individual booklet that's separate from all of the instruction booklets so in this little booklet it's got all the information on the guy who designed them as part of his ideas submission and then all the information about the insects so let's have a quick look and the information for the blue morpho butterfly also known as morpho pallides is indigenous to mexico central america and south america the blue morpho butterfly is a spectacular work, to, work of art Females are brownish in colour, while the male's wings consist of millions of scales that diffract light and reflect iridescent hues of blue. With a wingspan ranging from 3 to 8 inches, it's easy to spot, and unlike many other butterflies, it flies in almost any type of weather. Blue morphos are not picky eaters. They enjoy tropical fruits, tree sap and rotting flesh. In their early caterpillar stage, they may even cannibalise each other. In this model inspired by real life, the blue morpho is accompanied by a friend, the honeybee, on their joint mission to pollinate a blooming bromeliad. So, cannibalistic caterpillars, who'd have thought? That's why I love building these, because you end up with information you never had before. And I love it. It's sort of an education while you build. So I'm really, really looking forward to building this now even more. The blues I can see in the packages here just look amazing. And they kind of match our nice new table covering, which has honeybees on it. We're going for a bit of a different look this year. 2024, we're bringing in new cameras and new colours. So let's get cracked on and start building the Blue Morpho Butterfly.
completed butterfly from the insect collection and it was a lot less fiddly than the chinese mantis this was a bit more straightforward to put together but it's so beautiful just look at those different blues they're amazing i love the flower on the bottom i don't know if you can see the honeybee the honeybee is so cute it's amazing it's got this little clear plastic to attach it to the oh i just love it this was nowhere near as fiddly the um, the antennae were pretty easy to attach unlike the antennae and the mantis they were a nightmare i love the printed bricks on here for the butterfly wings they're beautiful really beautiful and some of these elements in the wings you might recognize as roof tiles from the blacksmith's house that came out last year so they've repurposed them to make butterfly wings and i think it just looks amazing it's really really simple and really really beautiful and i am now excited to make the beetle which is the last one and then we'll give you all a photo of the three of them stuck together pride of place on the table looking as stunning as they really are and i'm sorry but the camera just doesn't do it justice the colors the everything about it i love it so i hope you enjoyed watching me build this one and if you've got it maybe start with the butterfly before the the mantis the butterfly was much easier to put together so if you're a first time lego builder or if you're more accustomed to building houses and such then maybe go for the butterfly before the mantis because the mantis was definitely a lot more fiddly yeah. equally as beautiful 
but this was definitely the easier of the three the two so far i'll let you know with the beetle when i finished it which one i favor but no i just think i love it and the person who came up with it and i can't for the life of me remember the gentleman's name but we will put it up it's in the booklet the guy who submitted the idea to Lego in the first place is an absolute genius and his story is actually in the information booklet that comes with it i will not read the whole thing to you guys but what i might do is at the end when i finish building all three i might read you some excerpts from the book about the guy who built it and where he got his inspiration from because as far as i'm concerned this man's a genius i think i prefer this over my flowers to some degree Damn! Not entirely because I do live like my uh, botanicals collection but I do quite in have to say I've enjoyed this one so I hope you've enjoyed watching it as much as I've enjoyed building it and I'll see you all again soon for the beetle please like and subscribe that would be fabulous <laughs> so like subscribe leave a comment in the in the comments if you enjoyed watching me build it and see you all soon bye